I want to shine some light on the fragrance that I've been wearing today, Jaipo Hum by Boucheron, the Eau de Toilette. Now this fragrance was designed by Nick Minado in 1998 and it of course comes from one of the oldest jewelry houses in France. This to me is definitely one of Boucheron's greatest ever releases. Every fragrance house in the world has their own holy grail fragrance. In my opinion, Boucheron's Jaipo Homme is their holy grail fragrance. And Nick Minado is the perfumer for this. World class perfumer. She's created so many fantastic designer releases. Of course, this fragrance is named after the city of Jaipur in India. Known fine well for its beauty, its architecture, this fragrance is remarkable. Really, this does open up with citrus, this lemon, and I even think there's a lime in here as well. Not that it gives off a Sprite feeling or anything like that, but I am certainly able to get this citrus opening, which actually is kind of reminiscent to the original Pour Homme by Boucheron. However, that is a citrus aromatic. This is an amber spicy, so completely different fragrance, but it does open up classic. It does give me this gentlemanly vibe when I smell it. The main focus in here is spices. So there is, if you smell it carefully from first spray, you do get a slight cardamom. And the cardamom in this is so, so nice with the cinnamon and a little bit of carnation as well. And the carnation adds a clove kind of smell. So I am almost getting this cinnamon clove and rose behind the spices and that carnation is is almost creating this clove smell as well so it's like a combination of cinnamon and clove but it's powdery it's soft while the cinnamon adds the sharpness and makes it warm and almost humid a very nice formal fragrance as well so i definitely wouldn't wear this for a casual setting <laughs> yeah on the card it's definitely drying down to this powdery almost Weirdly enough, soapy kind of scent. The Styrax Benzoin in here is almost vanilla-like. I mean, don't get me wrong, Styrax, well, Benzoin in general, is supposed to be very, very similar to vanilla, but it's known as the vanilla amber scent. Whereas in this, there is some slight vanilla, but to me, it's more of a soapy kind of scent as this starts to dry down. So it's very different, but at the same time, very likable. On the skin, it's even better because the cinnamon is just straight in your face, straight in your face. But at the same time, there's this nice balance with the way the rose works. The citruses have dissipated at this point, but the cinnamon here is so strong and that rose just hiding behind it with little bits of that carnation mm, creates this beautiful, beautiful aroma. This fragrance in a nutshell, it opens up with some elegant citruses, so you get that lemon, you get that bergamot, you also get little touches of the lime as well. But as it starts to dry down, the fragrance starts to get almost clove-like with the carnation, and then the cinnamon takes charge. But, I mean, saying that, you pretty much get the cinnamon from first spray, but it's not until it dries down that you notice the cinnamon a lot more. Of course, you're getting the rose behind the cinnamon, which is just... It works in a really special way. Just makes the fragrance very memorable and different. You know, there's not a lot of fragrances like this out there. I mean, it's this came out in 98, so been out for a long time. Yeah, it's just so good. It works in a masculine, classic way, but it's elegant, it's luxurious, it's classy, it's wonderful stuff. And as it starts to really dry down, I would say probably into the fifth hour, the fragrance just gets balsamic with that benzoin. And there is tonka bean in there as well, which does add a bit of a creaminess, but it's, if anything, it's, it's, it's less vanillic and more balsamic and powdery. Glimpses of patchouli, and little glimpses of cedar wood as well, so it does have a bit of a woody trail on it, a bit of a green woody trail really with the patchouli and cedar. But this fragrance is all about the cinnamon. So if there's any cinnamon fans out there, <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it's not like this is an unpopular fragrance. It seems a bit forgotten about, but I think whenever people rediscover it, they realize, damn, this is a good fragrance. This fragrance lasts easily 
10 plus hours on my skin with a very strong sillage. So when you spray this, the sillage for it's loud. It's very, very loud for at least two hours. So again, the fact that this is EDT, it works straight up like an Eau de Parfum. This is a masterpiece. There's nothing else that smells like this, especially if you're a fan of cinnamon. And cinnamon, widely used in perfumery, but when it comes to this creation, a Nick Minardo's done something really special. Let me know if you have this fragrance, guys. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Keep smelling good. Have a wonderful evening. And bye for now.